Hey everyone, happy Monday. It's Connor. Thanks so much for joining us for another Devo. Yesterday was a big day in the life of Eastview. It was Vision Sunday. And if you haven't had a chance yet to check out Vision Sunday, I would encourage you to go on YouTube, watch the service. It's really helpful and important. Uh, it was basically uh, our leadership uh, discussing what the future of Eastview looks like down the road, but also right around the corner with some of the changes we're making leadership wise but also with our vision of love my community really important stuff again check it out it's worth the time we also had a speaker that uh taught in acts 17 and took us out of john for just a bit and so we're actually going to start there today but then have a few verses in genesis that tie into Acts 17. so what's happening in Acts 17 well paul is speaking to a group of men in athens within the areopagus it's basically a place where smart people talked about really complicated things, talked about philosophy and how you should live your life, those kinds of things. So Paul gets to preach to them. And basically, he, he notices there's a statue with an inscription that says, to an unknown God. And the argument that he makes is that you have a statue dedicated to a God that you don't know, but in fact, that God you don't know knows you, and he can be known. In fact, he created the earth. He created us. And so one uh, section of verses that connect to that argument that Paul is making comes from Genesis 1, 28 and 29. So let me read that for us. Uh, starting in verse 28. God blessed them, Adam and Eve, and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. All these commands. Rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground. And then God said, I give you every seed-bearing plant on the face of the whole earth and every tree that has fruit with seed in it, and they will be yours for food. There are several important takeaways from those two verses, but the number one, and that also connects to Acts 17, is this. God is the creator, and he created all of humanity, which means that humanity is equal. Every race, every tongue, every nation, all, everyone is on the same level, on the same playing field. One is not above the other. And so that is uh, part of the discussion that's taking place from Paul. What he's saying is that there is a creator and he loves you and he made you and all of humanity is equal in the eyes of God. And so if we now take that into our Devo today, I think what's helpful for us to be reminded of is even close to Genesis 1 is that the image of God is given to humanity. We, we bear his image. We reflect him. And every person bears his image. Therefore, as hard as it can be sometime, whether it's a difficult co-worker or it's your spouse or your kids or... It's a friend, it's a relative. No matter what challenging relationship you have going on or a thing that's taking place at work, no matter where, no matter who it is, no matter where it's at, God wants you to view the people in your life with love, with grace, and recognize the truth that God made them. And that changes the way that we see the gospel, it changes the way that we see humanity, and it reminds us that. God loves his children, and he wants us to be a part of helping them get to know God. And so that's the, the takeaway for us today. Uh, we appreciate you choosing to join us for Devos every day. Uh, stick with them this week, and we'll see you next time.